Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today our lesson is on writing domain and range in set notation. There are a few different notations for domain and range, but we use set notation when we're trying to describe discrete data or discrete graphs. Let's take a look at our first example. Here we have a set of ordered pairs and domain and range describes the X and Y values of a relationship. So let's go ahead and label all of our X values for our ordered pairs and domain and range we write in order from least to greatest. So my domain for this relationship is negative 6, 3, 8, and 11. Let's label the Y values of these ordered pairs. These are going to be our range values. And again, we write our range in order from least to greatest as well. So our range will be negative 4, 2, 5, and 7. With set notation, we use these symbols here. These are called braces. Let's take a look at another example. Our next example is going to be a mapping diagram. If you're not familiar with mapping diagrams, the first group represents our X values, our second group represents our Y values. And this is just another way of showing um, a relationship between ordered pairs. So here, this negative three is paired with negative one. That's why the arrow is drawn there. So let's just list these out as ordered pairs. Negative three, negative one. Six is paired with negative four. So six, negative four. And lastly, seven is paired with five. So our last ordered pair is seven, five. We're going to write domain and range just like we did on our last example because here we have a set of ordered pairs. So we write from least to greatest. That's going to be negative three, six, and seven. Our range describes our Y values of these ordered pairs. So let's list out our Y values here. In order from least to greatest, our least will be negative four, negative one, and then five. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have a table. A table is another way of showing a relationship between an X and a Y value. This is a little more straightforward though because our X values are listed together in the first column and our Y values are listed together in the second column. So our domain is negative 10, 0, and 14. Those are the X values in this relationship. Here are our range values, our Y values, in order from least to greatest, that is going to be two, six, and eight. And for our last example, let's take a look at a discrete graph. If you're given a discrete graph, it would be a good idea to list out the ordered pairs on your graph. So we have three points here. Let's go ahead and list those out. This first point is negative two, zero. The second point is one, four. And the last one is two, negative three. So now this problem just becomes like any other problem with ordered pairs. We're going to list out our X values, which are these numbers in that first column, negative two, one, and two. And our range values, are right here. In order from least to greatest, that would be negative three, zero, and four. And that's our domain and range. So this concludes our lesson for today on domain and range and set notation. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave any questions in the comment section below. And for more math tutorials, subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.